Hi again, I hope you've been having an amazing journey. I wanted to make some videos about topics that can help us with the gateway experience. So Kundalini is one of them. I'll explain what it is and how it's linked to the gateway, how it could help us. So Kundalini is a form of energy that we can control so we can voluntarily activate it. It's a very, very, very powerful energy. First of all, the benefits of Kundalini. If we activate it, we would have a higher, it's more easy to focus, to concentrate. We have better sleep. We have better decision making, better creativity, more physical energy, a sense of inner peace, and really like a really significant change in energy. We feel more energy, more energetic, more purpose, and the thing about concentration is really cool. So, this is the thing about Kundalini, okay? It, it has a mixed reputation. Sadhguru, which he's a very famous in the spiritual world, he said that it's the most incredible form of energy, but also the most dangerous. The most dangerous form of energy. The reason why he says it's the most dangerous is because he's, he thinks a lot of people are not ready for it. They do it without being ready for it. So they might have skipped steps. You have to do things in order. So he recommends if you want to achieve Kundalini, just do it in order. So you know how to control it. You, you, you have the real power. So this is the thing about Kundalini. So it's an energy that we feel when activated in our lower back. And, and the way to activate it is that it has to go through the seven main chakras. Chakra is just a, a state of uh, development. It's like uh, any time, every time you improve as a person, you would achieve a new chakra. Most, most of the seven chakras are obtainable. The sixth chakra and the seventh chakra are the hard ones to achieve. The sixth chakra is like known, funny enough, as the third eye chakra. It's the one that, if you achieve spiritual awareness, you've achieved the sixth chakra. So your sixth chakra is activated. The seventh chakra, which is the crown chakra, is about higher consciousness, more, more than spiritual awareness it's a spiritual enlightenment it's the the highest chakra it's the form of where you are you have inner peace and you've achieved higher consciousness so we need to activate all these chakras if we want to activate kundalini but the two the sixth and the seventh chakra are difficult but here is where the gateway experience comes into play the gateway experience makes it easy easier to reach the sixth and seventh chakra with the gateway experience we can achieve spiritual awareness and spiritual enlightenment and higher consciousness if you've watched my video about the focus levels the highest focus level we can reach with the gateway tapes is 21 that's the highest level we can achieve focus level with the gateway tapes so one of the purpose of this video is to look at the ways that we can use to reach the next, the, the other focus levels, up to 49. So this is the link between these two, Kundalini and the Gateway. The Gateway will help us reach Kundalini by activating the 6th and 7th chakra. And then, with the help of Kundalini, we can reach the next focus levels, past 21. That's the link. I did have a Kundalini experience. This was about a year ago, before I knew about the gateway tapes. So about a year ago, and as now, I, I do yoga every morning. And that year, year ago, what happened is that I was doing research about Kundalini. Like I already knew about yoga, and Kundalini yoga was like popular in this industry. So. This is before I knew about the gateway. I knew about Kundalini before the gateway. So one morning I said, okay, try some of these yoga positions that activate Kundalini, okay? 
So I did it. In the morning, I did these uh, specific positions in yoga that can help activate Kundalini. So then, during the day, at one point in the day, I was like, whoa, I feel different. I feel way more energetic, in a much better mood, and just this kind of power. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know. I, w I for kind of forgot as the day went by. I forgot that I did Kundalini Yoga in the morning. I forgot that I did it because it was my first time, and I'm not used to it. It's just it just passed me by. And then I felt something in my lower back, and I was sitting down. I was in a meeting. I felt something in my lower back, and I felt a rush going up my spine. And then I realized. Wait a second, you tried Kundalini this morning. There has to be some kind of connection. I checked on the internet the symptoms of Kundalini when it's activated. I had most of the symptoms, if not all the symptoms. So I was able to activate it once and it was incredible. The feeling, you really feel the difference physically and mentally. It's, it's really strong. So the symptoms to know, first of all, how to activate Kundalini. So there's yoga, there's audios, binaural beats that we can listen to. There's um, guided meditation. There is um, breath work. And I think that's all. And the main way to know if you activated Kundalini is you will feel tingles in your lower back and you will feel either cold or an unusual feeling of cold or heat going up through your spine. You will feel it. That's when you know Kundalini has been activated. So if we want to improve our experiences and develop, become better, more stronger, more powerful and more smart, I think Kundalini is a very interesting topic that can help us. The, the purpose of this video is to look at real ways that can improve our experiences. I think we should look, keep in mind Kundalini. I am personally going to practice more Kundalini Yoga, but the main thing really is to make sure that I, I, am, I activated my seventh chakra. So I will do that, making sure I, I can activate it before I try activating Kundalini. And I think once Kundalini is activated, there are so many things we can do with it in our daily lives and with the gateway tapes. I think we can reach the highest, highest focus levels. I will try to look at different ways that can help us. Many of you in the comments have left incredible information, advice, and that's where I heard about Kundalini. Like I heard it again in the comments and I was like, give it another, another try, see how it can help with the gateway. So. Any useful information, I will give a look at it, and if there's any way it can help us, I will share my thoughts on it with you guys in a video. So, I think it's very interesting, and there's many things that can help us. So, good luck with your experience, and I hope I'll talk to you soon. Bye.